We're set to go, and this game features a man drafted number one, first player picked in 1984 out of the University of Houston. Ten years later, he's the NBA's top man. Akeem Olajuwon focuses on tomorrow. Here we go, game five. Harold Malone. A hole very easily, so they want to make sure that they stay sharp. Elton Spencer from Stockton can't hit the easy shot. Rebound fourth. Kenny Smith inside to Elijah Wong. Those quick feet of Elijah Wong. Maxwell for three. It's five to nothing as Matt Max hits his first bomb. Stockton sees an opening. Blocked by Elijah Wong. Spencer recovers. Tempted to launch that one, but they've got to try to be patient. They do. Malone is 0 for 2 after two good looks. And Stockton want to have. They want to try to force the Houston Rockets to set up further. Vernon Maxwell with a drive sets up the smash. On a sec. Who's that? He has the 20 footer over the dot. Stockton from 15. It's 13-8 on his first bucket. They didn't really look for a break that time. They want to set up. Malone takes it on a tough trip up the alley, and it's 13-10. Elijah on triple team. So Maxwell for three. Oh, he barely had that in his hands. A almost strong shooting period in which the Rockets are burying three-point field goal. His drive and run. favorite shot. He has four. In single coverage, Elijah Wan is unstoppable. Benoit has been running to him. This time he doesn't. Stockton doesn't get there. The results, it is a thing of beauty. Five and a half left in this opening quarter. Spencer has it knocked away by a team, and he just is such a giant at both ends of the corner. By Benoit, and Benoit's the guy that they gamble off of Horry. Wow! Horry shot out of a cannon down that left wing. Otis Storch's rebound set it up. Robert Horry is similar to David Benoit in that they are flyers, and he flies hard, throws it down with two hands, and gets a chance to go to the line, but Kenny Smith gives it to him early. Might have got away with one extra step, but on a play like that, you got to have something. And we'll launch one. Back to Oregon. Houston doing everything right, and they lead by 11. And out of it, you get the ball inside. Now, the best thing you can do is cut to the basket. Ori, again, who loves to play above the rim, throws two more down. Oh, Houston just incredibly hot shooting to start. Malone. Five in this opening quarter. The Dream. Back out to the Dream. He just has the whole package. They begin to carve away defensively to shut this team down. Arnasek hits a two pointer. 28 16. Yes, yeah, Spencer open down court, but elects to play it safe. Malone over Thorpe. 28 18. Period. Maxwell hitting four threes. Ori misses on the slam. And a foul, apparently, on Felton Spencer, who almost lost the game in game four in Utah with some mistakes down the stretch. Elijah Wan getting to the game, but they've got to find their offensive rhythm. Elijah Wan takes that one away. A rare turnover by Stockton. Cassell at the other end, and he was fouled from behind by Carl Malone. Get the ball inside to Elijah Wan in single coverage, and you'll get those kind of results. There's not enough pressure on the passer. Tom Chambers is not a matchup for Elijah Wan, and he's going to be looking down and over the top of Tom Chambers all night long. They scored all six points of this second quarter. Corbin, loose underneath to score. Malone with the assist. Roster and Cassell. Great one-handed pass off the dribble by Stockton, one of his trademarks. And Brian Russell in for Utah. He has barely played in this playoff. And Cassell called for stripping Felton Spencer. And here comes Stockton. Nice pass to 
from Malone. Yeah. Out of bounds to Houston. The problem for Malone was also sprinting along with him was Elijah Wan. He gets right down into the lane and has to make a quick adjustment because Elijah Wan's there with the outstretched hand. So that quick transition opportunity goes for enough. 525, Houston. The defensive energy of the Houston Rockets has been outstanding. From Malone inside. And the foul. Spencer blocked by Elijah on recovered by Russell. Blocked again. Elijah on recovers and he is fouled. Hakeem Elijah on. Three blocks in this first half. This says it all about being the defensive player of the year. Spencer trying to go on his own. Bad idea. Russell gets the ball, tries to come out the other side. Another bad idea. <laughs> Elijah Wan picks up the foul against Russell, but uh, they have not been able to get inside with Elijah Wan's presence out on the floor. But up to Thorpe. Thorpe with an 18-footer, and Spencer rebounds it. Up and then see the ball end up in the wrong person's hand, and they don't get a score. Deeper, deeper shot, but he got it to go. The tougher shot. Elijah Wan has always been an opportunist. You have the ball around him. you got to be aware where he is. Felton Spencer thought he had it. Handball. Tipped that ball from underneath, and he is able to get it. He watched. Felton Spencer thought he had it. The quick hands of Elijah Wan turns into two points. A big game for Elijah Wan. Knock it down from the perimeter. The Rockets' defense is really aggressive. Felton Spencer again trying to go inside. Elijah Wan knocked it away, and Spencer misses at the other side of the rim. Thorpe comes up with it. Elijah Wan. Three straight misses, but there's Ori. Oh, my. Hornacek in midair. Couldn't uh, get himself in control. Slams into Elijah Wan. Fans boy, but not the, no malice of fourth of there. The ball comes to Robert Ori in a quick pass out, and John Stockton will dive in here, thinking that ball was going to go up at that point, and the heads come together, and Elijah Wan goes to the floor. He's trying to apply pressure on the ball right now, but they let it get in too deep. Two-pointer for Ori is dead center. What a half for Great pass out to Malone. Smith, Thorpe, and Mad Max for Houston. Stockton. Yeah, they needed that, and obviously Sloan said, hey, John. With long looks, their confidence is high. Carl Malone can't finish. No foul on Elijah Wan. And now the foul is Benoit drives. He just depended on Elijah Wan down the stretch. Carl Malone gets the foul from Elijah Wan, his second. He's trying to make it happen. Stockton had that low pass go off his ankle, and then Carl Malone Picks up his third foul. Huge on wide open. Rebound Spencer. Five against four here. And Elijah Wan able to make the steal. And a 20-second timeout now for Houston. Able to do it yet, but at least they're trying to be more aggressive defensively. Way short is Elijah Wan. Look at him hustle for his own rebound. And score. And his foul. Whatever that glimmer of daylight was, he is trying to snatch it away from the Utah Jazz. They all come to him on this. It looks like they're going to get the ball. He sneaks in, gets it, and then gets the foul. Spencer second. Elijah Wan. No low there. Corbett in almost getting in the passing lane, making it real difficult for Paul Malone to get the ball. They get a foul against the beauty for the Houston Rockets is they have not had to really rely on Elijah Wan in this ball game. He's just picking up the loose change right now, uh, and uh, it has been a balanced attack. Trying to get the ball to Malone on a lob. Blocked by Elijah Wan, his fourth of the game. Elijah Wan, spin move to Thorpe.
a stamp on MVP. Malone's got the ball where he wants it, but Elijah won quickly from the top of the key, drops down to knock it away, and then Elijah won spinning. I don't want the shot. And the Rockets fans led by the Houston bench back to an 18-point lead. <laughs> well, we, we know that centers are not supposed to be able to dance and dish like this, and uh, that is what makes him so special, the ability uh, not only to handle the basketball, to see other people, but mobility that uh, gets him away from the defense. Go up with a three-point call. Malone has to try to figure out where he is so he can get a chance to look at the hoop. Malone with the fadeaway. Now has 21 to lead the jam. Second, the only guy that will really get him done at the offensive end. On a sec, reaching in. Has the foul. His first. Utah foul, number 14, Jeff Hornacek. First person of the end. Look at the eyes of Carl Malone. Where is the dream? Oh, you're not coming. Oh, I'll do a little business on my own before you decide to chase his jump shot. Along with Thorpe. Rebound Ori. Did a nice job of scoring. The karate. And the club of Virginia Star just don't fall for him and Elijah on. Todd Gazar grind it out. They like to execute. They like to set up every possession. Paul Malone draws a foul against Otis Thorpe. coming from the blind side is sixth and it's out of bounds to Utah the problem is Carl Malone can't find Elijah one you'll see him flash out of the corner right there and Carl Malone it's too late uh, to get that shot he works real hard to get in against Otis Thorpe but the ultimate defense is Elijah one and he's been all of that this uh, this evening that's his 301st career playoff block as Friday misses and Chambers over the back, and that'll be a foul on him. So, Malone to Corbin. And Elijah on. Forced him to misdirect that one. Maxwell to Clark. On the clock. Hornacek to Chambers. It won't go. Corbin gets it back. It won't go. Another block by Elijah on his seventh. Elijah on. Any questions? And the only bright spot for Utah in the NBA Finals are the Houston Rockets. John Stockton, eight points Stockton. for him. 45 left in the fourth quarter. It's been Malone and Hornacek leading, and now Stockton hits three in a row, and that was a three. With plenty of time, another three is short, but Malone gets it back, and he's fouled. The 24 in each possession, it's down to six. Elijah one has the twist, can't make it. And Thorpe over the back has his third foul. Get the ball into Elijah one, make the defense react. Under three minutes to go, and that was Malone made the play for a moment. Elijah one with a loose ball. Big basket. That ends a drought of nearly five minutes and nearly ten minutes of this quarter. Into Malone. Gets the basket, and he's fouled. And Malone almost made the big play at the other end with the deflection. Malone goes up, and uh, John Stockton just couldn't get there. Elijah Wan gets enough time with that pump fake to get it up and down. Carl Malone comes back right to them. 2.30 left. Malone to Stockton, throws it away. Corey. The problem that they had in game four. Corey. I guess he's okay. Right for Robert Ory. Huge. Uh, Robert Ory cuts to the basket, and uh, that is what breaks all of the pressure of the Utah Jazz. Takes it down with two hands, a little mild head shake by Ory, who loved to waggle that head after a dunk. Two of his Alabama teammates playing on here. by Hornacek, but the Jazz has conceded defeat. It is the Rockets' evening as they advance to the finals. Four games to one. Houston wins the West. The final tonight, 94-83. Akeem, your first trip to the NBA Finals is just your second year in the league. What does it mean to you now? I can't hear you. What does it mean to you to go to the NBA Finals? Well, he's 
a great accomplishment. Uh, I'm just so happy. And uh, we just have to celebrate this one before the finals. You came out with a lot of intensity, but you gave your fans a little bit of a scare in well, the fourth quarter. I know, it was very tough. I'm just so glad we got this done. But you have gone from Choke City now to Clutch City. How important is this for you? The colors are the combat team. But they got